everyone, my name is Kari and I'm your war team at Overlord. Today, I'm going to teach you guys how to use... The Twitch Integrated Throwing System. <laughs> the Twitch Integrated Throwing System is a program that allows chat to bully you as much as possible. <laughs> this program allows chat to interact with you by throwing miscellaneous items at you throughout the stream, either through points, bits, or subs. Once you've downloaded the Twitch Integrated Throwing System, go ahead and open the program. To set up Twitch Integrated Throwing System in OBS, the first thing you're going to do is click on the plus sign and add a new source. Add a new game capture source. You can see that I already have mine here, named Tits. Go ahead and press OK. When you hit the Properties menu, you'll want to make sure that you allow transparency and unclick Capture Cursor if it is currently clicked. Hit the drop-down menu and click on Capture Specific Window. Hit the second drop-down menu where it says Window. Find the Twitch Integrated Throwing System and then hit OK. The application should show up overlaying your current VTube model. Make sure that it is overlaying and it is not beneath your VTube model in the Sources menu. Let's head on over to this Connections menu. Click on the Connections menu. You'll want to connect your Twitch as well as your VTube Studio. As you can see, my VTube Studio is already currently connected. All you have to do is click on both of these icons to go ahead and connect the Twitch Integrated Throwing System to your Twitch and your VTube Studio. By clicking Connect Twitch, it will open up a browser window and it will automatically connect you to your Twitch if you're already logged in. After you've connected your VTube Studio, you should see that the silhouette is now overlaying on top of your model in OBS. This means that the program is now tracking where your model is placed. So if I move my model around, the silhouette will follow. This ensures that the items that are hitting you are accurately hitting about in the area where your model is. If it seems like the silhouette is off in any kind of way and it doesn't seem like it's covering your model, you can go ahead and click on this cog wheel right here beside BTS Connected and it will open up the model calibration window. In the model's calibration window, you can adjust the width, the height, the location, whether up or down, so that way, the silhouette is correctly overlaying on your model. Once you've connected VTube Studio and Twitch, you'll go ahead and move on to the next section. Here, you can click on Settings. This Settings folder will allow you to change multiple various aspects in the program, such as full screen, graphics resolution, background color, and more. Go ahead and mess around with these settings to see what your desired settings are. Head down to the Trigger menu. Clicking on the Trigger menu will allow you to create new triggers that will activate the throwing system. Go ahead and press the plus key, click on the new trigger icon, and here you'll have plenty of options that will allow you to create multiple different ways to activate the trigger to throw things at your model. You can use channel points, bits, subs, gift subs, follows, commands, chat messages, rate, and hosts. When setting up the trigger, make sure that the redeem title, if you're using channel points, matches the redeem title in your Twitch. For example, if I have a redeem called throw something at my face, ensure that this matches that title so that when the redeem is redeemed during your stream, it will activate. You can change your cooldowns, how much you'd like to throw, and the delay between each trigger. The same settings should be changed and set up for each individual trigger that you are setting up. Ensure that you have a cooldown, how much you'd like to throw, and the delay in between. Heading on over to Model Importer, here you'll see all of the current models that are loaded up in the Twitch Integrated Throwing System that come with the program. You get an apple, banana, a bear, a bike, bits, burger, beans, fish, heart, meat, microphone, and present pots. You can change the scale of these items and their size comparison to this banana right here by clicking the model settings. You can change the scale, the strength, the speed, and the rotation the probability weight, and the miss chance. You can also lock the rotation and allow collision with other items. You can do this for each individual item model that is currently preset in the program. If you click on the sound effects menu, you'll also be able to change the default bonk audio. You 
You can make it louder or quieter if it is affecting your stream. I will tap F10 to get rid of the overlay menu and press F9 to ensure that the program is properly connected to OBS. And that's how you set up the Twitch integrated throwing system so that you can have interactivity with yourself and your chat while streaming. If you have any other questions, remember to join the Anata Discord server and I hope to see you there. Bye bye. <laughs>